Etude 6 is about string crossings, keeping the bow close to the string you're crossing to. In the beginning, we do this melody all in first and half position, so it's really not a technical challenge for the left hand, just really keeping your position in tune, keeping your finger spacing accurate. But then, at the end of line 3, we do the melody again up an octave, and it's really the same thing. It's still string crossings, but it's really getting the shifting very accurate and very clean. I'm going to play all of the fingerings that are in the book. I don't think they're all the best fingerings, but I do think this is a time when it's worth doing the fingerings just to really be comfortable with playing here in fourth position and feeling where these shifts are, fourth and fifth position up here. So in the beginning of this etude, I want to try and get the string crossing to be as close as possible. So if I'm playing here on the A string, I can choose to be this far away, or I can come over and be closer. So let's start here. As I'm playing, I want to see how close can I get until I'm basically playing both strings, and then just lift off of that a slightly so that my string crossings are much easier. I can just go from one to the other without having to really move the bow too far. Let me show this from D string and A string. So always my string crossing takes a minimal amount of distance in each direction as I return from one string to the other, so that I'm just barely clearing the string that I was on. of the phrase in this very, very slow melody and continue to play as beautifully as possible. 